In today's YouTube video, we are gonna review the iPolo V1 Mini, a brand new Ethereum Classic miner with Wi-Fi. This miner is perfect for any beginner or a seasoned crypto mining enthusiast with a larger crypto mining farm. The miner itself has a small and sleek design. It is very quiet and you can literally start mining anywhere that you have power and internet. So we are gonna review this V1 Mini ETC miner from iPolo. I'm gonna show you how much I made over the past few days, and then we're gonna run a few tests, plus so much more. I'm your host, Tech Hustler. Oakley Dokley, welcome to another video, and if it's your first time here, my name's Tech Hustler. We mine crypto, we stake crypto, and we even review some websites and applications that you can start using right now to make a little bit of crypto on the side. Now you can also make some PayPal gift cards and so much more. So if you like that, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And while you're down there, hit that like button too. That's the number one thing you can do to support my channel. In today's video, we are gonna review the iPolo v1 mini this is an ethereum classic miner with wi-fi it mines at 130 mega hashes at 104 watts it's small it's quiet it is perfect for anywhere but first i have to let you know that i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice this is for educational and entertainment purposes only the v1 mini is an ethereum classic miner not an Ethereum miner. Remember, Ethereum will no longer be a mineable cryptocurrency in the near future. And when that happens, I believe we're gonna see more Ethereum Classic miners, and I also speculate that the price of Ethereum Classic will go up. But as of the recording date of today's video, which is May 10th, 2022 the current price of ethereum classic and that's etc on the ticker is sitting at 24 dollars 11 currently up almost three percent but definitely down from our all-time high over 80 percent which was one year ago at 176 dollars and 16 cent if we ever reach this all-time high again this will be the most profitable crypto miner that i have ever owned and here we are on the ipolo homepage. that's going to be ipolo.com now if you are interested in ordering any miners from ipolo you're going to message them directly and you can use this address right here it's going to be sales dot ncsa at ipolo.com one more time that's going to be sales dot ncsa at ipolo.com now before we dive into the v1 mini let's go ahead and take a quick browse of all the miners that they have available here on ipolo.com first we're going to go over ipolo's v series these are their Ethereum and Ethereum Classic miners. And keep in mind, any Ethereum miners will also be able to mine Ethereum Classic. But the Ethereum Classic miners cannot mine Ethereum, but that won't matter in the near future. So we have the iPolo V1 Ethereum Classic miner. It has a hash rate of 1550 mega hashes at 1240 watts. And then we have the miners we're going to be going over today, the V1 Mini and the V1 Mini Plus. Now, the V1 Mini right here has Wi-Fi and a hash rate of 130 mega hashes at 140 watts. And then the Plus has a hash rate of 260 mega hashes at 208 watts. And then we have the iPolo V1 ETH Miner. Remember, the ETH miners will also mine Ethereum Classic. This has a hash rate of 31 mega hashes at 2400 watts. And then the last one is the Gold Box, the V1 Mini ETH version. 
and that's gonna mine at a hash rate of 280 mega hashes at 224 watts and this will mine both ethereum and ethereum classic and now quickly going over their bitcoin miners the b series we have this ipolo b1l bitcoin miner that's gonna hash at 60 tera hashes we don't have the wattage and then we have the full power the ipolo b1 bitcoin miner and that's gonna hash from 85 to 100 tera hashes and we currently don't know the wattage but it is coming soon and last we're gonna go over the g series the grin miners which are some of my personal favorite and i think they are very underrated we have the big boy right here boy or girl or whatever gender you prefer the ipolo g1 grin miner this has a hash rate of 36 graphs per second at 2800 watts and then one of my personal favorites the ipolo g1 mini we've done a review of this a few months ago this has a hash rate of 1.2 grass per second at 120 watts and at this price i think i'm gonna grab another one here we are on whattomine.com we're gonna do some simple calculations to see how much ethereum classic we can mine every day and how much that is worth at today's current value so the ipolo v1 mini has a hash rate of 130 mega hashes now the power is just over 100 watts but we're not going to enter that or the cost of electricity in because i get free electricity at this location so at today's current value of ethereum classic and it is down a considerable amount we're going to be making two dollars and six cents every day now if we factor in our power which let's just say 100 watts for easy math and here in the state of north carolina i am paying 10 cent a kilowatt hour so let's go ahead and calculate our power cost in and it's going to cost us around 24 cent a day still making over one dollar and 81 cent every single day or around 0 0.08 ethereum classic and that's not bad especially considering the current price of ethereum classic and just to verify that data here is my account with an f2 pool and you can see ever since i plugged this miner in right around a week ago i have maintained a 130 mega hash hash rate or higher and within the last 24 hours you can see we've averaged at 134 mega hashes now let's go to my revenue and you can see yesterday i earned 0 0.086 ethereum classic and that is spot on with what they said i was gonna earn and what to mine.com and right here you can see all my payments and they are going directly to my coinbase account before we get out of here the last thing that i want to do is give you an up close and personal look at the v1 mini ethereum classic miner and we're also going to run a couple tests we're going to see how loud this miner is and then we're going to plug it into the wall and see if we really are mining around 100 watts because that is completely unheard of so that's going to do it for my face right here let's dive into the miner let's go oakley doakley before we start running any tests i just want to show you that the miner is on and actively mining well over 130 mega ashes now let's go over here and check out the actual miner itself and like i said this is small sleek and you know what this is very stylish i definitely don't mind having this in my office i don't mind having it anywhere where someone's gonna see it it is very pleasing to the eye and when compared to other asic miners this is relatively quiet i'm going to shut my mouth and we're going to look at the decibel meter and you can see right there we are around 60 decibels 
with me talking, we are almost at 90 decibels. So that is a very quiet ASIC miner. Now they claim we are mining Ethereum Classic at 130 mega hashes while only using around 100 watts. So let's follow the power cord to the wall. And as we look at my kilowatt meter, they are right. We are hashing 130 mega hashes right around 100 watts. This is actually the highest I've seen this go to, 102.8, and I've seen it drop as low as 99 watts. So you know what, the V1 Mini, I am very impressed with this ASIC miner, and um, I hope to get more than one because this thing is pretty sweet. So that's pretty much gonna do it for this review of the Ipolo V1 Mini Ethereum Classic Miner. Now we should have the gold box here soon, so hit that bell so you don't miss that upload. Other than that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. My name's Tech Hustler. Happy mining. Peace.